I will call the uh, December Perry, Perry County Planning Commission meeting to order. Um, in addition to the people who are here in person, we have a couple members who are here online and uh, why don't we identify who they are? Okay. Um, we have uh, Kathy Gilbert um, and also Tom Groppensberger. And Steve Deck is the um, executive director for Tri County, and he is uh, overseeing the uh, the uh, Zoom meeting uh, arrangements this evening. All right. Uh, minutes of the November meeting have been previously circulated. Are there any comments or corrections to the minutes? The motion to approve is presented. Thank you. Second. Second. You guys are going to be busy tonight. <laughs> uh, any discussion? All in favor, aye. Opposed? All right. Good and welfare. Uh, before we open it, open up the floor, uh, I would uh, like to recognize uh, the service of Robert Schaefer who has been a member of the commission for a long time, uh, 35 years, and uh, is has uh, resigned effective the end of the year. Uh, we just like to, and we have a certificate of appreciation going to him in recognition of those 35 years. Uh, and I would just like to put on the record how much I have enjoyed serving with Bob. He has brought a lot to the commission over the years, and he will be missed. Uh, okay, other good welfare, gentlemen. Uh, uh, Zach um, Lupo, he's um, he's here for the um, Three Springs Church plan in Jackson Township. Okay, um, and Tom's here for all three others. All right, well, let's split. I think Zach was here first anyway, so we usually go in order of arrival. So we'll give you a first shot. <laughs> this one is these are revisions, right? They're they're all I think from uh comments. Okay. Somehow missed the first page of your comments. Uh, anything that would have been covered there that we covered when we had a conversation with the other Okay. Otherwise, we would have some conversations. All right. Um, so typically, we would, we would have a response to comments that we would kind of go down through all of the comments and kind of whittle them off so that we won't, wouldn't have to go through all of the staff comments originally. But, you know, since you're new to this process, it's up to the commission how they want to handle it. Um, well, what's, what staff comments remain unresolved? Well, that's, that's the question. I don't know. <laughs> um, the um, the table that we would require is basically listing each lot and describing each lot separately as far as its land use, gross, net, total, um, number of dwelling units on the lot. In, in, in this case, I mean, there's you know dwelling on the balance, and there's the church on the on the existing. Um, there was a I know a point in the review that dealt with is there sewage facilities associated with the church? Is there a well? 
or anything. Someone say accept it. Yeah. Um, and that's. I do have a team there with the, you know, the lot areas and whatnot. Sort of a Steve, are you, do you have um, the map um, that you can share with the commission online? Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, the, the PDF, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay, now you can. Yeah, you see it's kind of coming up in a way that it's displaying kind of comments in the background. So it's a little awkward looking, but I do have it. Okay. All right. Let me work. On our screen, it's see what I mean. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, those, those don't appear to be on, on the printed copy. Okay, what, what is it? That's... Well, there's these, I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, do, you, do you know what these dots are? They're, 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 com they're comments in the AutoCAD file. Oh, okay. And that's just when they got saved to a PDF, they just carried through not only with the uh, comments that goes on, uh, but those dots. Yeah, yeah there's uh, sometimes uh, Adobe turns uh, text into right. comment blocks. Yeah, I've never seen it do that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Um, well, I guess from from the uh, the comments that that appeared. I mean, do you do you need me to supply you with another copy of them tonight if you, uh, you don't have one? These are the this is the, the series of comments. Yeah, you're welcome to take these with you. I can. Uh, um, oh, um, are are you? Are your comments things that he's going to need to address? And are we in this situation where we're just going to need to table this until he can probably ultimately address the comments? Until we have kind of a, a firm understanding as to you know what's been covered. I mean, he has supplied the additional copies tonight, mm -hmm. um, so we do have the, that covered. But you know, as far as like the the depiction of the, the table as what our ordinance calls for. It might have to be restructured um, to satisfy that. But beyond that, there's, you know, I think the comments related to um, the location of the sewage facilities for the church. Is it, yeah, there's, there's no indication of where on the property they're located. Uh, and there's, I don't think there's a note up here that explains that there is a sewage system or anything associated with the church property. Well, I mean, under the on my site data, there says uh, the existing uh, water and sewer. Existing, but you have to locate it on the plan. Yeah, as far as the section reference, yeah. So is this essentially just it's, it's a lot whole, of the whole plan here adding one to the church? It's, it's essentially right. A lot of distance to restructure the actual perimeter. Yeah, it's, it's okay. just that three, roughly three thousand square foot little triangle there, just so you can build their garage. And are, are there any aside from the sort of, for lack of a better term, the technical things that need to be fixed? <laughs> Are there any substantive issues that we need to kick around this evening? I don't know if, unless you have any questions that you want to raise. Yeah, no, I mean, from my understanding of uh, the requirements, the, the lot addition requirements, I, I wasn't required to survey the, the entire parent track. I mean, I, I depicted it through deep plotting. That's right. Um, and uh, now, like, the description for that Trout Brothers property is all bounded by. So my deep plotting was the adjoiners, you know. Uh, I did do a boundary survey on the church property uh, just like last year, just, uh, um, but uh, yeah. Other, I mean, other, oh, there was a, this is like uh, the one comment I saw with concrete monuments. Uh, see if there's anything that jumps up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, as far as yeah, concrete monuments, is there any mention of any around the perimeter of the property? Or are you going to be placing any? Uh, I mean, if you're if you're going to require me to, I mean, my issue is that I found that, that one right there. I mean, this one has a set pin. I think it's a repar re on the top, but there's no concrete like um, described monument that. Yeah, typically. What do, we, what do we require on this? It's usually, it's like, like it's usually like two a lot. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get two on a single line. I'd have to. I'd have to uh, remove a. You know, I'd, two on a lot. On a lot. Oh, okay. So, and, and we talk. We're talking about the resulting lots. Okay. Not yeah. not all these that are being kind of added to the mm -hmm. sequence. So we wouldn't have to have it for each one. But. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, the, um, the county's, the county planning commission's, um, approval block, we'll need to have that for us to stamp chairman and secretary. Um, I think that, yeah, now this is, uh, but that was listing Jackson Township as the approving body, and they're they're just a review body. Yeah, but the above there. Yeah, that's ours. All it needs to say is basically what's in the ordinance, and it's just you know basically that the county planning commission approves this plan on such and such a day, yeah. and then signatures yeah. after it. Jason can get you that language. Yeah, it's it's. It's right in the appendix. Okay. And, and that ordinance is online. Mm -hmm. So if you need help and guidance to get to it, I can show it to you. Um, and then just a natural drainage easement along Sherman's Creek. Yeah, because it flows through there. there. Okay. And there was a 20 foot access easement that's pertinent to Trout Brothers. That I showed in there. Now, like that's all the ordinance requires uh, bearings and distances. There's no plan showing exactly, you know, uh, the exact location. I mean, it's, it's sort of blanket in nature. Like I, geographically, I, I, I couldn't, I, I didn't find a cartway or, or anything I could, I could like, like nail down the location of that, that easement. I, I, I stuck it there because it seemed like the, yeah, I, I'm, Tom runs into that modification yeah. request quite often. So uh, it's it's something that we're going to have to probably look at for changing, I think, mm -hmm. in the ordinance. Because it, we, Steve and I were talking about it today. It's like, I think when you're talking about easements, it's, you know, generally it's it's probably more important to see them when you're putting new facilities in that's in close proximity and that becomes an issue. Um, but you know, if it's like over on the back side of the farmer's 40 acre field or something, it's, you know, is it really, mm -hmm. is it really providing, you know, uh, any type of necessity to the review process, um, when, you know, there's, there's nothing going on over mm -hmm. there essentially. Um, but if there's like a driveway or something that's going back through it, I can see that too. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to recommend uh, to, the, to the church and their and the transaction here to, to try and get that extinguished because they have, they have how many thousand feet of road frontage and uh, you know they don't need a 20 foot access easement across the dinky little church lot. <laughs> well, man, if they're given ground, they might that might be. You know yeah. what they want to reserve. I don't know, but um, so that's that's up in the northern part of the property. I see. But, yeah, the, it was called out on the the deed for that um, that tract up there. So so this is essentially to kind of get some structures back on the property too. Are they just buying this this top right triangle? From, just, just that little triangle. Okay. Yeah, they they, want they to, own all these other pieces. Yes. Okay. They want to preserve. Uh, as much of the parking area as possible yeah. uh, and uh, fit their building in there. Okay. Any other questions from anybody? 
Any questions? Cyberspace. FEMA, are there FEMA floodplains on the on the parcel? Uh, I should have the floodplain. Yeah, they're displayed on there, Tom. They come back in. They don't go out all the way to the church. Um, it's just in front of the church. There's a dash line on there that's not along the um, the town or the the state. That's actually, I, I believe, it's a state road because it says it says four digits, and I don't know of any township road that has four digits with their number. Yeah, I believe that is an SR in there. What's the what's the spotted line here? That, that's the uh, perimeter of the paving or the, or the gravel area. Right. And then there's the floodplain going through the property. Yeah. Right. So their entrance is actually in the floodplain. And there's a cemetery out back too. Yeah. <laughs> That's not where the septic system is. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think mm -hmm. I hope not. Yeah, I'll have to. Or the, or the well. It might be even worse. All right. Uh, so I guess. Uh, we need a motion to table. Yeah. Uh, are we, I assume we're okay time wise on this thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what what um, a lot of the surveyors that are um, handling plans in the county do typically they'll take our comments and then they'll just you know either create a word document from the comments from the Adobe and then just put a put the response to each one of the comments. Sure. Aside from that, that would that would help um, trim things down for the next meeting okay. if you want to get that to me. Yeah. So I'll, I'll let you you can take that with you. I'll. I'll Replenish the file with another one. There were, yeah, I mean, I, I do have a detail that's at less than the greater than the. Oh, as far as the scale? The scale, you know. Uh, we did that one a lot. And uh, what else? cover sheet and the DP. Uh, so in, in separate, yeah, in separate fashion, there's, there's actually a. a, a a sample modification request form that's on the back too. You can actually use that to plug the section reference in there and then the, uh, offer up some hardship. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is there a motion to table? I'll make that motion. Second. Move second. Any discussion? All in favor? Yep. All in favor, aye. 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 All right, we'll see you next one. See you next year. All right. All right, so that one was uh, three, three, two. All right. Which one do you want to do first, Tom? Hey, Mr. Oh. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, Donnie Bartz just joined the the call. Okay. Right. Can, can you up the volume on that at all? Or I don't. Are you, are, are, are you not sure if it is. You seem quiet. Let's see here. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I think mine's up on my end, Jason. Are you sure? Mine's at a hundred percent. Huh. I don't know. We'll get you closer to everybody anyway. All right. Is this a carryover from last year? Yeah, I, carry I was not here last month, right. so you don't have to. Don't know I don't know what, what's going okay, on. Okay, well, the reason, the main reason they table it is because we were shifting ground around here. This little piece of that is being called this problem. So that's right. So we'll show where the piece is going to be the line. And then we added a piece to this off of the small building lot back here. And then we were going to add this tenth of an acre here, but we got held up because there was a mistake. This was sold in 1970. I had it all. So read that red note. You don't understand that's, what happened. That's an addition to the plan, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I ended. And I'll show you the wording. There's a loan printing for two, but we did get a deed recorded today from Donna Wheeler. Okay. Two. Yeah. Yeah, because we were, we were wondering about the ownership, and you you even wondered about the ownership at first. But my you, wife knew Mrs. Wheeler. <laughs> okay. We tracked her down. Scott recorded the deed at two thirty today. So okay. Look at that. So so there is a deed reference and everything yes. that's on there now, right here, even on the plan. Yes. Oh. Probably. I am probably perfect. Well, Dave can read it or Jim. Uh, recording instruments on the two of us to the screen. Donna Wheeler is now Donna Neely. When we left that meeting, I was determined to find this one because we thought the man died, but we didn't know. So, did. Yeah, well, you knew. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. But my wife knew his wife, and so we called and we knew where, where she was. She came in and found it. And then he also had an old guy, so that was because the Burgett survey that he took this in, even though it had been sold off. I forgot about it. Well, did, did, did they miss that? Did the administration just go yeah. to the when, when, when um, I don't know, it was Angie Clouser, Chuck Clouser, and Angie. Bought this property. They forgot about this addition, so they left it laying. Never did anything with it since 1981. I think it was. They had deeded this off this way and forgot about this. So, and they were confused even even who owned it. But it was sold off. And I have it here. 76. I guess. Can't read upside down. Yep. No, it's 76. It sold off. But when forgetting the social survey, this. They didn't know that it was sold, but they included it. That was why he had Allgar sign the deed because Allgar now owns this over here, which, and according to their survey, he owned that. So they had both signed off. So, Scott, Scott, when I did the research, he supported it. And, 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 if that if that was never administered in that estate, it should have been. Okay. Were there inheritance tax issues, other things? I don't know. That's really not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so insignificant. Yeah. So just yeah. <laughs> yeah, <don't call> <laughs> We're just having yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I knew it was all because my uh, dad surveyed it all. They did it all in '76, but then. Uh, they surveyed it in, and so they thought he owned it, and he thought he owned it. And that would have just skipped over the people that actually had right, right of title to that property if, if it would have been an approved subdivision without that going through beforehand. Yeah. Well, anyway, Black now has a deed for that by itself. That's the one we recorded today. That piece. So, and I tried to, I didn't know how to revise this plan, but I thought, does that Clear it up at the bottom of my note. Or is it, is it references? I didn't show it to Jason. But. Yeah, it references that Dean. Okay. I mean, that's that's. Kind of I just did it through my note from you because before. because truthfully, right now, as it stands, the blacks own us. Right, and then what do you do? Okay, and then that's going to be the consolidated lot for right. 
All right, so are there any, are there any other remaining issues? Yeah. So we we discussed the um, we need we need definitely need municipal comment. We don't have that yet. Um, I think I emailed you that. I did email you at some point a week or so. And and with about four other things. What did the so the municipality did review it? Yes. And what did they mean? Is that print? I, I know I think a week or so ago. I think the black. I don't know. I'll, I'll look. Maybe. I do have I, I, the, the only one, the only all guy yeah, one, the other one doesn't have it either. We don't have municipal comment for either of those, but we do have for for the uh, Mets one. I can read it. Sure maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Yeah, no, I have the Mets one. Yeah, well, I know it's that to you. I'll check those. All right. <clears throat> well, but, yeah, they, they were here as well. Yeah. So the PADEP form. And their non building waiver is their well, that okay. That was one on the comment form. I had the township sign it that they didn't require because all we were taking off was black. Okay, so they're they're not going to require it. No, see, I don't have any indication yeah. of that. So it should have been what I sent you. Yeah. You must not, right? Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I got that. So if, if the township doesn't require it, uh, you know. Would um, would that be a, a waiver request? Thoughts or just forego? Like I said, all we're taking off of this this property is that little piece right there across the road, and I can park a vehicle. That would be a matter of policy going forward. <clears throat> What does the ordinance say? It calls for form bill. Well, but if the ordinance calls for it and you're saying you don't want to do that because the township has said they don't want it, that sounds like a waiver request to me. Okay. And, okay. Simple. Uh -huh. I have one waiver on that. And that's only for this and the other, and we did it for because it was a small lot we were cutting down. So this is how we want to affect the city. So that's 406.2C. All right. And then the last item on this one would be whether or not um, the commission wants to see an additional monument placed on this. He's he's provided two right here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. These two corners of the boundary of the original track of the development or the subdivision shall be monument. Mm -hmm. right. A minimum of two monuments shall be set at the street or railway lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Is there an offside back there? Well, actually, that's a corner. Oh, the corner. That's his property. Oh, maybe that's what I was talking about. It was weird how that line was. We're still going to end up with this guy owning both sides of the road. Well, right there, it's such a line. Yeah, I mean, I know it's. Too bad that didn't get yeah. cleaned up along yeah. with the rest of the stuff, but I guess that would have had to have gone to. We had another, yeah. 
<laughs> it's, it's worthless, the amount of um, I thought this one was just one of the worst brands of the day. Probably could go to this house, probably could have parked the car there in this guy's house. That would have been right in front of his house. So now you can see. Right. <laughs> So no, nothing on the monuments then? Should there be a waiver requested? Or should Tom choose to add one? Well, I guess it'd be a waiver of the, not of the number of monuments, but of the location of the- Yeah, the two on the right of way. Am I splitting hairs too much there? Well, and, uh, I think we have a basis for. We call it clear. Yeah, I think there's a basis for granting a waiver because you, ha you have two two of them there. Uh, Well, they are both in close proximity to the road. Mm -hmm. I guess you would need a waiver request of the of having them on the right of way. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, if, if is it, that what you're if, thinking? If, it, if the intent was to place one for the purpose of being um, or serving as that right away placement, it's so close. I mean, the distance is not far. It, it could it double, not just as a corner, as but with an offset distance to tell us what that is right there. I mean, it, if, if, if there was an intent to like have it serve both purposes, you know. You know, that I think you would satisfy the requirement. That's my thought. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it easier, I guess. I don't know. It's so close to the right away line. Yeah, that's why I didn't worry about that. Um, it, it seems to run so far away from the center. Of the road, right there's a. I can label that. No, you, you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, do. I do. I do the 33 feet. 33 feet. I mean, that's half of. Well, it's double the right away with the front of the state road. So you are you suggesting to just label the distance? I mean, if there's from, a way to from the right away, away off, to the yeah, the offset distance or whatever it is to the right away. Yeah, because I've you, seen, can you do that? Mm -hmm. I've seen other surveyors do that. Sometimes and, and I then, try to and, and I, I kind of, I, you've even done that in the past. Yeah, yeah. So you know, having said mm -hmm. that, you know that I've I've been giving you know grace, you know, for it's not exactly on the right of way line, yeah. but the intent is to position it there because something's causing it not to be placed there, you know, and that's typically what happens. With, it's either got a too steep a bank there or something. <clears throat> You've kind of expressed that in the past. Yeah, well, this isn't a nice thing. Uh, uh, I really wouldn't want to try to set it on right away. Put it there and that one. Yeah. Put that way. Should, well, I mean, it'd be easier to do a map correction probably that, than to go out and actually set a concrete monument at that distance or request a waiver and then have the commission entertain the waiver request. But you know, I got to 
explain you know, why that section can't be achieved. All right, so other than adding that distance, yeah, anything else that we need to? Nope, that's it. Um, you said you did municipal comments, Benjamin. Yeah. Subject to the municipal comments. Probably a week or more ago. Hmm. I sent the end of last week. Yeah. Right now, Sunday night, I think, is what I <laughs> If, if it's if, if it is there, Tom, I'll find it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure. I'm, I'm eight year old. Yeah. I remember sending about four things. Maybe it was a few the Well done. You guys work that out. Yeah, we will. Okay. It was Sunday night because I think I remember <laughs> sitting in the room and thinking, "I'll get this to Jason so I have it one morning." Yeah, that's when I said. <laughs> Unless I'm thinking of that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll to get those Sunday emails. <laughs> I wanted you to have it for Monday, whatever it was. Now, I might, I might be wrong on what I said, but I know it's a Sunday night. All right. Sure, sure. All right. All right. So, are we ready to approve this subject to the addition of the that one distance? Uh, yep, the offset would be the plan. That that would be the, the plan change. There's the, the waivers are first, and the waivers would be on the bearings and distances of easements, which is requested. And um, probably it, the addition of that non building waiver request form based, yeah. on, based on the township saying that they won't want to see it. Yeah, I discussed that with the Okay. That's still other than we did one. Okay. All right. So is there a motion to approve those two waivers? So moved. Um don't expect Kathy to make a motion is, because she's she's sick. Yeah, is there a second? I'll second. Discussion? Did you have a question? You look like you had a question. I'm just going to verify the two waivers. The second one is on the non building. The, the non building. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. <clears throat> All right. So that's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion on the waiver requests? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? I'm an abstention. Okay. All right. And uh, so is then then we need a motion to approve the plan subject to the addition of the distance from the right of way on the one monument and uh, verification of township's comments. Any other conditions? That's it. Someone want to make that motion? Is there a second? Second. Um, get on. Moving in, seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Abstention on the record. Oh, that's the next one. I don't want to reach. Well, it really wasn't the next one. Yep, yeah. We'll move along. Yeah. 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 These two little pieces are being added to. I showed it here and I labeled the issue that you would understand. I labeled here something. Yeah, so, so, this one has a note number. Was it five? It says that the uh, form B non building waiver. I don't have it in the file. It's been yeah. signed. It says. Yes, I have it. Um, I should have it. Oh, right. okay. This one, municipal comment. You said that that was that on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll, I'll go home and check. If you didn't get any emails this week, I mailed it out Sunday night. I mailed a bunch of stuff to you. I got an email from you Sunday, December 17th. That would be it. And you printed all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, don't know. I didn't have any attachments for it. Doesn't feel any. <laughs> anyway, we'll, she we'll, said we'll, that. We'll, if, it's, if it's out there, we'll, we'll get it in this file. I know that. Um, so this one, there were two modification requests. One was bearings and distances for reasons like Tom just did on the other one, and then um, the minimum uh, right away width for private drives is fifty feet. That's an existing 20 foot. It goes back to uh, that 97 or 90 some odd acres in the back. But, but it's, it's, it's an existing. It's on the same property owner that's subdividing other property. So conceivably, if he wanted to enlarge the right of way, he could do so at pretty much any time of his choosing down the road if he wanted to. Am I right on that? But um, there's no new lots. That's that's um, the hardship that Tom is stating that there, this is a lot addition plan. Um, there's no new lots being proposed with the plan. So we're not proposing. Yeah. Just proposing this piece of land that I have right there. <clears throat> <laughs> and we did the building labor in this. Because we're cutting this down. Yeah. Small. There's also one about old cabin or something. So this is this is really intended to get the sand mound for yeah. this house yeah. on yeah, the scene we'll on their <laughs> property. They put it here on this property. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. How did that happen? Yeah, no, that, that, that happened. I wasn't there when that happened. All right. Questions? So what, what are the waiver requests where we are left bearings and distances and, and the right away? Yeah, the minimum, minimum width of the target right away. All right, is there a, a motion to uh, approve the waivers? No, Thank you, Tom. Second? Second? Any discussion? All in favor, aye? No. Aye. 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 All right. And then is so are there any conditions for the plan itself? Um just uh subject to the receipt of municipal comment and the funding on building waiver. All right, I want to make that motion. Thank you. Tom, I think it's up to you for the second. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. noted. <laughs> All right. Last one. We didn't do the first time when we you know, emailed, like, decided not to send stuff to you. Hey, Jason, this is Donnie here. This is the Richard Match in Southwest Madison Township. 
condemned the form of doing this property. He bought this property of 28 acres with house and barn, but he do not want the buildings anymore, so he's going to sell the buildings and add the balance of that onto his farm. So it'll be a 24.591 acre lot addition onto his farm. And uh, the reason we did two lots there is because of clean and green. He was allowed to do 10%. And that's about what he needed to get rid of the building. So we ended up with two acres for this year and 0. 0.732 for the next year. And I don't know if he's going to have it done this year. So it might be next year or the following year. But when you do clean green, you can't do more than two per year. Mm -hmm. And you can't do more than 10%. So he's maxed out everything that he can sell off of that in those two lots. My only comment on this one is is the um, the lot one the main balance mm -hmm. is being proposed to be added to the new property owned by Richard Metz across the road? Mm -hmm. And in the comments that I got back from Tom, he's indicated that there is a house, barn, well, and septic on that property. Mm -hmm. So the comment was pertaining to you know whether or not the lot is um, has the ability to support like any type of a residential structure. Um, it's that lot sustainability comment that is always being looked at. So if there's a note that would reflect or represent that the fact that there is a house well and septic, like the comment here that we received, that would satisfy the requirement. Um, but I didn't see anything in there. Other, other than that, if you just display, just like, I mean, it's, it's no different than the situation over here where we're being offered the information on this lot too, um, with a, a well and existing sheds or whatever else on this property, which is receiving this lot three. So the same, just want the same thing. Basically, yeah, just to, just to validate the fact that there's, Something there. What you know? It's like, um, why are they adding? Well, actually, this, this is a this is the public road. Yes, seventeen. Why bother adding this to that? Why not keep this as just a separate standalone line? Well, he's like me. He don't want development. He he's going to be preserving his farm, and he wants to preserve that as well. I I get that. Um, he don't want development in there. And he's going to restrict it. In fact, I'm in the process of doing the farm for preservation. Uh, uh, and we're sorry. adding that to it. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> so, so Tom, I mean, there, there's part of that description, though, would include a house well and septic, right? Part of I mean, it. Not, not the preserved portion, because they would actually keep that separate. Right, as a as an area outside of the preserved property or not? It goes it goes in. Yeah, now you can have a building envelope, but he's actually gonna he's reserving uh, right here. Like, uh, where this wedge is here, he owns a separate lot there, and he's preserving that as his building lot for the future. But his house is, is back in here. back in that big track. Oh, yeah. it's way back. Yeah, I can address that. I, I, if, if, there's, if it's not being displayed, I mean, it has road frontage right there and you're showing the perimeter description in that location that, I mean, just like we just saw with the other one, I, I think a note would be fine to like at least mention that there is that house and septic as well on that property somewhere. Yeah, I, I can add that to the maybe number one now somehow. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> that farm right here. That was great. Very good. Remember that name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's come to home. It's a wide driveway in here. Right, 
You don't remember plotting, right? Or on the seventh grade? I remember doing some plotting. I don't, I don't know. Oh, this, this that's what it was. So the waivers that are being requested are the overall track scale, and I think that deals with this one over on the right, right Tom, because our our scale requirement is one equals one hundred, uh, not smaller. So the smaller scale would be a, a larger numbered scale showing a larger area. That's uh, that's what's being depicted over there. So um, the Second would be the bearings and distances and easements request again. So those are the, those are the two requested waivers. And so if you want to entertain modifications first, and then the yeah, I suppose it'd be the way to go. So the request waivers are just scale and bearings and distances on easements. Yep, those two. Do I need it? I'll make a motion that we grant the waivers. Okay. Second. Yeah. All right, we got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Mr. Chairman, Donnie Bartsch would like to indicate that he's abstaining on this vote. Okay. Thank you. And then on the plan itself, um, what conditions are we looking uh, for? Just the addition of uh, the the indication of what exists on that uh, lot one addition property. All right, and you're okay with that yeah. condition? All right. So I want to make that motion. Um, I guess before we before we go there, I've got a question. Um, do we do we have a requirement for uh, backup uh, on lot disposal uh, sites? I mean, typically, if 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 we're going to you know chop uh, pieces off those areas, then if there's a suitable site nearby, and and that's the question, I guess, whether our ordinance addresses that or not. We actually did it on the small the two acre bus. We didn't do it on the farm, but we did it on the two acre. And that's what the SEO came out and did. It's probably under at the direction of the SEO yeah. town, I um, I don't know if, if our ordinance would dictate to an SEO. I don't even know if any of the SEOs would even look at our ordinance to even guide people. That's the problem. Yeah, we've, I mean, We've we've got that provision in our ordinance, and and we've worked with the SEO to make sure that uh, where where they were subdividing a lot to smaller and so forth, and there was no secondary or backup site that that uh, that that would be looked at uh, before before uh, they they made it smaller. Um, yeah, I, anyway. I I think well, they, they do in the little lot time, but on the on the residue, the residue is actually bigger now, right? Right. Yeah. So that that's not the issue. It's really the smaller lot that. So that makes sense. Then, if if that's covered, then it sounds like it's good. The smaller lot shows an alter alternate site. Okay. Good. That's on the and, map. Yeah, that was the question. So yeah, no problem then. All right. So you're good with it. Yep. All right. Yeah. It says here all all such in in our sewage service. Uh, facilities section it says where an installation of a public sanitary sewer is not feasible the applicant shall provide evidence each lot could be adequately supported by an individual on lot or sewage disposal system all such individual on lot sewage systems shall be designed and constructed in accordance with the rules and regs of the PADEP um, easements okay B it says easements for individual on lot sewage systems may be established in accordance with the section provided access to the off-lot sewer systems aside from the requirement to display such easement area on the plan, uh, plan note regarding the construction. That's basically all it says about on-lots, Tom, under the sewage service. Um, facility. It does say that each new lot shall be sufficient to for sewage disposal. 
and sewage disposal system shall be public, community, or individually owned. Um, I don't see anything in that section that talks about the um, the need for a a backup. Um, but in order to get their DEP approval, they would have to achieve whatever DEP directs them to do. And in order for an SEO to maintain a certification, he's going to have to adhere to DEP's direction. That's what he's doing. I mean, he did the one back up to that. He didn't go to the farm. Right. All right. So we have a motion to approve the on the floor, we need a second to that motion. Second. All right, so it's been made the motion. <laughs> Dave, all right. Um, all right, so it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. You same no? same yeah. abstention. Aye. Right. Okay. And the applicant accepts the conditions, correct? Right? <laughs> you have a Merry Christmas. Yes, we do. Sorry, I don't know why that one. Thanks, Tom. Uh, communications, page three. Anybody have any questions or is there anything that needs to be brought to our attention? Uh, if not, uh, we'll move on to payment of expenses. $770 to Tri County. Is there a motion to approve the payment of the expenses? Is there a second? Aye. All in favor, aye. Aye. And the treasurer's report is attached. Is there a motion to accept the treasurer's report? No move. Um, Thanks, Dom. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Yeah. Save it up for one time. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. One time. That's about it. <laughs> You're a trooper. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, staff reports. RPA is attached. Any questions on any of that or anyone bring to our attention? Um, a whole lot more than one Uh, we'll move on to program progress report. <clears throat> is that going to be Steve? Yep. That is me. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. All right. A handful of things for you uh, this month. First, the uh, Safe Streets for All plan continues. We have another one of our uh, steering committee meetings coming up in January. One of the things we did this last month was do little profiles for each of the counties uh, and the municipalities that have more than typical crash rates, uh, which you don't have any in Perry County. But in terms of the county, 
I thought you might be interested um, that um, in terms of uh, fatalities, uh, the the county has an has one point four percent of the total. So you're you're obviously much lower than others. Same with uh, uh, serious injuries, four point two. The most common type of crash by far um, it are lane departures. So going off and hitting guide rails, trees, poles, uh, wherever. Where in Perry County, that's fifty five percent of your serious crashes. Whereas in the region, it's only twenty eight. So you're you're almost twice uh, the rate there. Um, uh, but on the side of uh, impaired drivers, the Perry County rate was 13% of those serious crashes, where the regional number is just over 10. So you're a little bit higher of those under influences than, than the average. Um, much lower percent of uh, crashes with uh, heavy trucks, um, but your uh, percent of crashes that involve speeding is the regional rate is uh, 26%, Perry County it's 32. So I think in quick summary, you have people traveling too fast on your uh, more rural roadways and uh, ending up off the road is, uh, so I don't think that probably surprises anybody, but just uh, for your information. Stan's um, traffic volume now. You mean from like pre-COVID? Yeah, yeah, or, you know, normal rates. Um, what we're finding, and you know, it it varies obviously road by road. But what we found are the the traffic volume numbers are back up to generally speaking what they were pre COVID. the The difference that we're seeing is that um, pre COVID you had a much more pronounced morning peak and afternoon peak those peaks have flattened out significantly. So people are traveling more throughout the day. So it's same number of cars, but more broadly spaced than what we had seen, you know, before 2020. Does that answer your question? Yeah, that, that, that's like Tim said, that's interesting. And this one, we're still, uh, people are working at home. So I'm wondering if that just sort of leveled Thank yeah, you. I think that's what it is. So those people are working from home, but they're traveling more midday or off peak hour and that kind of thing to, you know, run errands. Or maybe they have a different, uh, you know, reporting period for work or whatever. They're not traveling in at seven, eight o'clock in the morning. They might show up at 10 kind of a thing. So I know I, some of them only have to report like end of the week or a couple days a week. Yeah. yeah. And then. The days of the week are a little bit more unusual than they used to be because of that. Um, but overall, uh, you know, the the total volumes that you see on your roads are fairly similar to what they had been before the pandemic. But if you have any questions on a specific road or anything like that, just let me know. And it, it might be different uh, on particular roadways. So. Uh, anyway, other moving on a little bit, um, you'll remember we have also been undertaking an active transportation plan. We're uh, in January. We're going to do some outreach for that. The one we're having an open house at the new Bloomfield uh, Borough Building on January 11th. There's some information about that on our website if you're interested in participating, or you can just let me know. Um, and. Also, we are in the midst, I think I mentioned this before, we're in the midst of the developing the tip for, for hats. Um, we're going to be coming out with a draft tip in the uh, February time frame, so we can share that with commission members. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, um, once that comes out, that first part of next year is the public comment period, so we'll make sure you're at least aware. And I think... The last, yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention is that we we periodically bring up the countywide action plan uh, that we're involved in uh, for for Dolphin, Perry, Juniata, and Mifflin counties. We got our implementation grant um, for this year for this coming year from DEP it, for the total for the four counties. 
is about 1.4 million uh, that we received. We distribute that based on some, you know, permit requirements uh, or, or reduction goals for each of the counties. Uh, and this year, the only thing that's a little different um, is that uh, in in Dauphin County, we actually have a, a a few less and some less expensive projects. So the allocation that was going to go to Dauphin County, sixty thousand of that. Um, we have decided to share with Perry County and add to their allocation because they had a little bit bigger need for funds this coming year. So you got a little extra from your friends across the river uh, for 2024. So with that, that's that's what I had out of the progress report, unless you have any questions. Hey, Steve. What, sure. What what does the tip include uh, for 11, 15, 22, 322 uh, intersection area and, and everything? That uh, seems to be moving moving ahead in those areas. Uh, Tom, actually, to tell you the truth, I'm going to have to take a, a a more detailed look and get back to you. I don't remember the specifics on that off the top of my head. Okay, I just wasn't sure what what they had there and whether that counted for the land yeah. use changes and and everything else in the right. mix there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I can look at that and get back to you. Yeah, and since and since that's uh, really. Part of that area is Dolphin County. Uh, that, that that would make sense uh, for them to to give a few dollars uh, for that effort, right? There you go. Hey Steve, did you yes. did you did you want to mention about the um, the the um, um, consultant Gannett Fleming finalizing the uh, the draft? Yeah. Well, that. okay. So we're we're almost done with that. You guys will remember the uh, study that was done. Um, it, you know, for the section of 1115 in Watts and downtown Duncannon, we have now a pre-draft version of that document. Um, what, all we did here recently was that we did have public meetings in both Watts and at the Penn Township uh, Municipal Building. We've just pulled a summary of that together and we'll be... Um, you know, we'll have a, a more finalized version of it at the February HATS meeting. Um, I can give you, a, a, assuming HATS, you know, a, adopts that draft, uh, I'll let you know. But, um, you know, in, in essence, uh, in in Watts, the long-term version, the long-term vision is that eventually that section of roadway will have a barrier um, and we'll have maybe a, a, a jug handle or a couple of jug handles in that stretch, much like you see further to the north. Um, but that may take some amount of time. In downtown Duncannon with the uh, Market Street intersection there that everybody knows is an issue, um, we're going we're gonna to follow that traffic, the numbers and the growth when the barrier project uh, in Clarks Ferry happens. Uh, at some point, it's going to warrant either a roundabout or a traffic signal at that location. Um, but we're we're following that closely as well. Any and other at, questions? At some point, once that's sort of put together, it'll be a good thing to distribute to the members of the commission. I can do, I can definitely do that. Okay. Any other questions for Steve? If not, we'll move along to uh, county comp plan. Okay. Um, so to end the year off, uh, it's pretty much right on schedule with kind of a biannual arrangement for. Uh, project confirmation uh, for those participating municipalities uh, that are working with us, um, us being the county, um, with the Picture Perry Comp Plan, the um, the projects that are existing within the plan that the municipalities have offered up, that uh, non-for-profits have offered up, the county projects, um, all of the governing bodies that oversee the uh, the county projects and the municipal projects were contacted um, to see if they wanted to retain or have those projects stay in the plan. 
Um, they can give us a thumbs up, basically, or a thumbs down, take it out, leave it in type of um, uh, arrangement. Um, if there were any new projects that we received for that municipal jurisdiction, we we offered up some project sheets to the municipality to see if they wanted those new projects included at this time. So um, it is a fluid ongoing document and um, we're hoping that we see some additional projects the next um, biannual um, project update process when we, when we probably do that in June. We're advising all the municipalities to try to get their information back to us. It was almost instantaneous. I had comments back from um, Liverpool Borough, their partner, and uh, they want to keep all of their projects. So, all right. Um, there's also work group meetings that are going to be convening again in January. They're triannual meetings. Um, there's housing, there's natural resources, there's transportation, um, five work groups. And, um, you know, more of that information is up on the Picture Perry website if under the more uh, drop down. So if anybody's interested in coming to any of those meetings, please see me. All right, any questions? Uh, as a mitigation, anything new? We contacted um, MCM Consult. Consulting out of State College. They're the selected consultant that's going to be working on the next hazard mitigation plan. Um, we will be having a, a virtual meeting in, in uh, January to discuss the revised uh, project schedule. And uh, they would probably be looking to get started on it. I'm, I'm thinking around maybe May, June this year um, and completing it next year. Um, in time to get it out and get comments back from PMA and FEMA. So um, look for that if anybody wants to participate in any of those meetings. Um, all right, any questions? Let's move on to uh, municipal reviews and reports, page 19. Are there any just a couple of them there. Anybody have any questions or want more information on any of those? Okay, if not, I will move along. Uh, zone matters. Motion and second to ratify. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so we need a motion to ratify staff's comments on those municipal reviews. So moved. Makes sense. Second. Second. We've been seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Right. Opposed? All right, uh, uh, so zoning matters, new sign ordinance and how? Yep. Uh, actually, this is uh, this is one that's come back to us, I believe, three times now. So um, basically, down to, you know, just asking the supervisors um, whether they've used the, the, the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission's model, um, and if they have, um, uh, there's a recommendation here that the township solicitor um, be um, uh, approached to um, request their help to assist and advise on whether the ordinance will stand any legal challenge considering First Amendment issues. Signs. It's one of those things you just gotta make sure that you're not overstepping that First Amendment um, structure. Was it seems to be a hot issue. Yeah, what is that? In? <laughs> um, so there is a revision that I have on here. Rather than have the chairman sign at this time, um, I can affix a stamp with these minor corrections to this letter. Okay. 
So we need a motion, I guess, to send the review letter to Howe Township. It does support their adoption of it if they so choose. Make that motion. Okay. So, moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All right. Uh, Liberty Township Parks. Solar Energy. Okay. Well, this one has clear indications that they have. Utilize the regional model. I can I can tell you that. Um, so, with that, you know, this recommendation um, would be for the supervisors to adopt the proposed uh, solar energy facilities ordinance uh, by further amending this Liverpool Township zoning ordinance um, with the completion of the model. So, there's there's a couple of like blanks and on the text that just need to be. Kind of insert some information needs to be inserted to make sure that it's tightened up a little bit. But other than that, all right. Is there a motion to uh, send that letter review? I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 It Hey, Jason, uh, just wanted to bring one issue up. We're going through a similar uh, in the township here uh, with the solar uh, ordinance. Uh, one of the things I've been been seeing uh, from from the what's happening uh, out there in the rest of the world is uh, they're they're including uh, battery uh, um, uh, lithium ion battery packs. Actually, uh, they take yeah. they take the leftover uh, vehicle batteries. Uh, and they still have a useful life to them uh, about about uh, three three years or or so or 30 30 percent is available on those mm -hmm. and they've been creating these battery storage banks on these solar solar farms um, for storage uh, and then they and then they'll uh, sell or, or push the energy out to the the uh, power grid typically when the rate is higher uh, uh, and uh, at at, uh, at at times when the grid needs it uh, and, and may not have other sources. So uh, anyway, it just what, adds an, another issue or different issue, mm -hmm. issues to that whole ordinance. Yeah, that's um, another use that's going to need to have its own kind of approach, isn't it? Well, yeah. So, I mean, the, the reality. I mean, with these with these storage units, they're they're putting uh, uh, the uh, um, yeah the, the uh, uh, what are they called the, the container container units out there and then they put uh, uh racks of racks of batteries in them 20 20 batteries at a time and they're running seven or eight of these storage units uh bottom that, line uh yeah you've got, they, you, you've got a real fire fire hazard there and, and then sure. you've got to account for all those issues to get to get huh. the emergency equipment well, in there to, to, to deal with what, it what about the chemicals uh, Tom, I mean, wouldn't that qualify them to have to get a, a Sarah permit or something? Which I mean, chemicals? That, 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 the chemicals in the batteries. Well, that's the same thing that's, that that people are putting in their in their uh, garages and and uh, outside of their buildings in electrical vehicles. It's the same. It's the same but, thing. It's just but it, but, but it, not it, to that. But that not to that level though is what I'm saying. I mean, when you're talking about that much on on roof. Yeah, I mean, no, but the, the it's not on the roof. It's it's sitting it's sitting in se separate containers under uh, under in, one in under a, one under one roof under one roof. I mean the one yeah, the these... one this battery uh, facility that's over across the river over in um was it it was it Lichens uh, I can't remember it was up, over in Dolphin County. Jerry had reviewed one. It was either up in um, near Elizabethville. Or um, it seems like it was up near, up in Upper Dolphin somewhere, that they were putting one of these facilities in. Um, but anyway, I mean, they were they were kind of trying to figure out how they were going to actually review it. Um, obviously, it's a land development plan, but I think I'm not sure if the community actually had zoning or not, and even if they did they would have been in the same situation as a community that doesn't have solar provisions trying to regulate solar. Um, right. Yeah. Well, that's what we just felt that, that, 
uh, or it was recommended anyway, that, that we have provisions in there for these battery storage facilities to make sure that, that they can be accessed uh, in the event that there are, um, you know, there is a fire because, you know, that's the nature of these batteries is, uh, you know, um, and then once they get started, they, they can be a real challenge to get out. So, uh, then, then they have to use they have to use the foams on them, uh, and uh, right now there's still a lot of foam out there with a PFAS and PFOS in it. So, uh, the forever chemical. So it just leads from one issue to another. But, Tom, on anyway. that, on those buildings, is a restriction or any uh, foundation for because when if God forbid there is a fire, the fire company comes. There, there's use of foam, but there there's a lot more use of water and foam to put these out. Right, uh, right. Yeah, I mean, they're just mud. using they're just using these regular uh, storage storage containers uh, like they use for shipping shipping uh, over the seas and so forth. So they're all metal storage cabinets, and and then they have doors on one side, uh, and then they're sliding sliding these uh, in uh, like like drawers. Uh, um, twenty uh, twenty to twenty two uh, uh, battery uh, battery packs off of. Uh, out of out of vehicles, um, you yeah, know that that's the and then they'll use seven or eight seven or eight of these uh, uh, storage storage facilities. So I mean, you almost have to have them fenced and or, or you know, and and all combustibles out of out of, off the ground uh, around these yeah. things, just like a really a sub a, a substation, uh, an electrical yeah, substation. Still, if you think about it, and controlling the runoff, like there there should be. Concrete basins or something to to hold it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's well, yeah, ex exactly. And then if because if you get in there and and uh, have a have a, a a fire and need to put it out, then then you've got a cleanup site uh, to deal with at the same time. So right. Well, um, right now all you could do is if the fire company comes, put the noodles around, and but that doesn't. You just gotta let it burn right. out. Yeah. Right. I mean, this and, and it yeah. burns hot too. It I mean, does. it's it's super hot. It's yeah. it's it's got to be like a welding rod. And you might put it out and it will come back. It, yeah. So I mean, even yeah. inside these steel containers, you're going to melt through them, right? I mean, like potential, conceivably. Seems like you're really ought to be DEP. Really ought to be regulating that. Those. I mean, how, how's it? How's a little rural township going to? You know, be expected to develop the regulations for something like that. That that's yeah, it's that it's a challenge on a statewide basis, so that it's all like I, like I said. I think I think it would be really really similar to a a, a substation out there, an electric electric utility uh, substation, and uh, uh, yeah, in terms of of that type that type of a of a of a facility is is needed to contain contain yeah, these I things. Do. I mean, it's a, it's a soft target. I mean, for terrorism. I mean, low. I mean, small scale terrorism. Because I mean, think of what it could do. You know, it's like if it's soft. You know, on the protective side of things, that's that's not good. Somebody drives right in there and causes a mess. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What else right now? Yeah. All right. Um, did did we take it? I've lost move wherever you were at. Did we take action on the Liverpool? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so yeah, I waited one, before waited before bringing that one up. That's, that's all right. <laughs> Interesting thoughts. Um, so, uh, bylaws update. Well, um, we haven't done anything with the bylaws update or the draft resolution covering rules of decorum. Um, I guess the commission needs to decide whether to, you know, vote for no change at this time, um, adopt, you know, maybe um, bylaws as they were initially distributed or with some revisions, um, whether the commission wants to convene a committee to work on this stuff. Um, we'll just table it this month <laughs> for Christmas. And I honestly haven't looked at them at any significant degree. Um, I just assume push this to January. 
Uh, anybody else? Might send them around again just to make sure that everybody. Okay. Anybody um, to that? Put that on your homework list. Yeah, you can send them around probably in October, maybe. Remember. Send them out again? Yeah, I, I did look at them. Okay. I, I don't recall anything that caught my eye that was problematic. But. All right. So we tackled one and two together. We'll send both of those things out to everybody. Yeah, why don't you do that? And then we'll do that as part of our reorganization on that would be the appropriate time to do it anyway. Okay. We'll do. You have a consensus on that? Is that yeah, everybody good with it? Uh, so, uh, recommended appointments, 24, 25 term. Who's up? Well, right now we have, well, Dana's off. Obviously, she left us earlier this year. Um, we have Tom. Um, we have Jim. We have Dan. I think that's all of us, isn't it? Tom, Dan, and Jim. So we need one more individual to fill our four-member um, structure with the uh, regional board. Uh, Tom, uh, did you guys get it? Did did you ask whether Tom and Dan are willing to? I, I threw it out there last month, but I don't know if I got any type of response. I think I think Dan was saying that he was he's going to be the chairman basically as the structure goes. Tom is going to be. Uh, he would be secretary chairman of, of Tri County, right? Yeah. And and Tom would be secretary. Am I right, Tom? Tom, sure. I guess <laughs> I, I, I'm not certain, quite honestly, of of how the structure gets the uh, gets. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's right. You're treasurer now, I believe, right? Uh, I think that's what I read. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I think I think you have it right, Jason. Okay, whatever you say. You would be moving up to the secretary position, All right? So, so what we're looking for is just a, a non non officer position um, with the commission, um, just to to be a body, uh, to be a voting body uh, on on issues. Um, and Tom, you obviously have. And Jim, you're familiar. Do you, do you uh, um, attend via uh, remote for these meetings recently? Or? Recently, I have been. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. If there's anybody, I, I spoke to Kathy. Kathy's saying that she probably will not um, have any time to do this. So it would be basically at this point between Dave, um, Donnie, and. Um, Mike, for that decision. Um, anybody, either you or Donnie, like to to do this, or I'm really not in this. Okay, time. I I'll tell you, I I have um I I spoke to Mike, and Mike was open to it. Um, it would be what bi monthly. It's every other month, basically. Yeah, generally speaking. Okay. And basically, there's only a couple people coming to me. Everybody does Zoom. Correct, Steve? I didn't. I didn't hear you. I said there's only a couple people coming to the meetings. It's basically Zoom. Oh yeah, for the most part, uh, you know, with this regional meeting, people are coming from such distances. They typically uh, participate remotely. I think it might be a good one. If watching. I'll walk with him again. Right. Be willing to... Well, we need the appointments this month. Diane's wanting to go into the new year with, with the appointments recommend, recommendation. So what we would do is we would offer those four. Are you saying he, he, he did indicate he, he, he did not run the other way? No, he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, would somebody like to recommend those um, those four names then? It would be... Uh, Tom, Danny, Mike, and myself. I will make that motion, Dave. There a second. I'll second. Donnie, okay. You can second it. All in favor, aye. Aye.
Motion. All right, motion carries. All right, next item, we need to, uh, now we're gonna do our reorganization next month, but I guess in the interim, uh, in case anything official needs to be signed, we need a secretary. Preferably somebody that will stay on as secretary through the remainder of the term because we have to get stamps for signature and uh, it's always nice to have some stability there. <laughs> <laughs> and it does not actually require the preparation of the minutes. That's right. <laughs> All the work is done by staff. Yeah. So it's more of an honor than anything. Um, I appreciate the look over if you, if you feel compelling. I guess, uh, Dave, you're already down as treasurer, and Tom is down as vice chair. You want to go on as secretary? You said it's just <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dan. We have consensus on that. Sounds like. Or do you want a motion? I I probably prefer a motion. Yeah, let's do a motion. You want to make that motion? I'll make that motion. All right. Uh, Tom, you want to second that? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. aye. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> Double your salary. <laughs> All right. We got an LPA agreement for Oliver Township. We have three LPA agreements. Oh. So if you'd like That's to do yep. an omnibus, let's motion. do that. <laughs> I mean, you can move this along. Yes, please. Uh, is there a motion to approve the LPA agreements with Oliver Township, Bloomfield Borough, and Spring Township? Yeah, we'll second that motion. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Yes. All right, your signature. Think about it. That's two of them. There we have buckles here somewhere. <laughs> just saw it. You got to put me to work already. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Thank you. So we already had new four signed, so this makes up our four. Um, what I can tell you is we've been we've been asked by two municipalities to perhaps work on zoning ordinances, um, Buffalo Township and New Buffalo Borough. So I'm waiting to see if they offer up the LPA agreements to us. Um, Watts Township has also expressed interest in having us update their zoning map, so they would sign up with an LPA too. So we we could conceivably see three additional LPAs here in the coming couple of months. So um, I'll keep you out of trouble. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, we got a couple intergovernmental review. Uh, Commonwealth financing uh, for uh, sewage, I guess this is treatment projects at Bloomfield Borough, or no, Bloomfield Borough Community Center. Oh, Jeff, here's accessibility. Here's. And uh, Liverpool Borough for a pump station. Are we supporting both of those, I assume? Yes. All right. Anybody want any more information about them? Not is there a motion to authorize sending those letters of support? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? All right. Uh, we got a NEPA review for Oliver Township. What's that? I don't remember seeing NEPA review before. Is that something new? Uh, it's the uh, it's a, a review performed typically for the CDBG program. Um, 
Environmental Protection Act, uh, Environmental Review. Um, National Environmental Policy Act since 1969. Thank you. Um, so if there's, if there's federal funding, they have to go through the NEPA review. It's a correct. paper paper process. All right. So this is so they can get some federal money, hopefully. Yep. So one for Oliver Township and one for Newport Borough. Correct. A well and some wastewater. I think Newport Borough must constitute half of our governmental reviews. Um, all right, so I assume we supported those projects? Yes. All right, is there a motion to send the letters of support for those two projects? So moved. That one of them is a second. Tom. Any discussion? All in favor, no. All right. Is there anything else we do this year? Wow. <coughs> Everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we will stand adjourned. Thank you all. Alrighty. Happy, happy, Merry, Merry. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. See ya.